happy Sunday. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I go live every Sunday to craft with you, uh, inspire you, and just have fun playing with Stampin' Up! product. Tuesday is the last day of the month. March is almost over. Celebration's almost over. The ultimate starter kit, the ultimate bundle as we're calling it, is going away in uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday's the last day to get it. I have had um, I've had five new people join during celebration, which is amazing. Um, they all took advantage of that ultimate starter kit. So it's very exciting because they get all the extra perks that come with buying the starter kit from me. Um, they get the 20% discount. They get all my tutorials for free. They get to be on my team where we go live and give away prizes and do t recognition for titles. And um, it, we just have a lot of fun. There's a lot of perks to, to being on my team. Um, and by team, I don't don't mean you're a demonstrator and you sell uh, you know you sell stamps that's not what that means being on my team just means you get to be in my little family of stampers and I get to spoil you because you bought the starter kit from me um, and most pretty much everyone that has bought the starter kit or the ultimate bundle or whatever you want to call it most of them um, that have purchased it from me are just happy shoppers and just want that discount and want the extra perks that come with it and they don't wanna do a business like me, and that's totally okay. And there's no catches, there's no, you know, no strings attached, no punishments, no nothing if you don't, you know, sell a single thing. Um, so that's why I love Stampin' Up. It's just an amazing, amazing company, and who doesn't want a discount? It's like a Costco membership. Why wouldn't you want a Costco membership? <laughs> <laughs> yep, Feline. <laughs> Feline was one of those that signed up during celebration, so it was awesome to have her join us. It's very exciting. Okay, let's see. Um, two quick things. Number one, I have a new um, ordering code. So I all during March, I said if you order, you get a free paper pumpkin. I am now switching that because this week um, we start a new... Um, we start a new month, midweek on Wednesday. So I have a new hostess code and my new um, giveaway is a, a, a bundle of the Stampin' Blend storage cases. So if you place a $50 order with me this week, um, you get the, the, the Stampin' Blends storage and they look like this. Ugh, I'm just gonna take, and I believe you get four or five of them in a box. I think there's five of them. So this is just four, they stack up. So they come in a box of five, free with the $50 purchase from me. They hold your blends just nicely, isn't that nice? Okay, so you get that. Um, with a $35 order, you get my make and takes, but I have an extra little gift this week. So I have the three projects. If you place a $35 order with my code, you get the make and takes. But then I have, I just did Bunko on Saturday and I used the Rise and Shine stamp set as well for those projects. So I have a tutorial for the three projects we made during Rise and Shine Bunko. So if you place a $35 order with me this week up, up until Friday, you'll also get that tutorial and video tutorial for those three projects. So you're gonna get a tutorial for six projects total, make and takes for three, it's gonna be amazing. Plus, if you up it to $50, you get the free gift. And if you order before the end of Tuesday, you get a celebration item. Is that a lot? That's a lot. Can't even keep track of it all. So here are my projects for today. I did an eclipse card. So I cut the words out coffee. So it says, but first coffee, and it has a cute little coffee background. And then this one, I like, for, I went I went past the coffee and tea and I did a flowers instead, a cup of flowers, and I love this bright colors. I took inspiration from this designer series paper and did the Flirty Flamingo Crush Curry and Whisper White together. Thought that was a really um, pretty combination. Okay, and then this one, um, this is a called a pop-up standing card. So it lays flat as you can see. It fits in a normal envelope, but then it pops up and you have a cute little message in here. And so it says, you've got this, but first, and then coffee. And I just love this little stack of uh, coffee cups, super cute. And then of course my favorite colors, green and pink. I love all these bright colors that we're using today. All right, 
So I'm using, like I mentioned, the Rise and Shine stamp set. Now this stamp set is free with a $100 purchase. It goes away Tuesday, you guys. Tuesday's the last day to get this stamp set. It's a celebration item and it will be gone come April 1st. It coordinates with the cup of cheer dies that came in our holiday catalog. You guys remember these cups? in the holiday catalog. I need to put these on magnets so badly. But they cut out two different directions of the cups because the stamps are reversible. And these stamps are reversible as well. And it has all these really fun dies. So this actually carried over. Um, this one did not retire from the holiday catalog. And so they actually are unorderable at this time because everybody's been ordering these, these dies. Um, and because they're coming from China and we're having a backlog in China right now, these are unorderable, but they'll be back. No worries, they will be back. Um, and so as soon as they come back into stock, we can get them, okay? I absolutely love these dies and I love the stamp set and I had a lot of fun creating with it. So, all right. Let's go ahead and make these projects. Let's start with this beautiful flower card. I just love it. It just makes my day. It's so bright and fun and cheery. Now this designer series paper that I mentioned to you guys is actually from a, a stack of designer series paper from the annual catalog that I have not used. It's called Perennial Essence Designer Series Paper. It's actually very, very beautiful. It's got beautiful prints on it. Um, look at that pink kind of uh, marbled look. Um, just very beautiful paper. And um, yeah, just really, really cute. So I kind of took some inspiration from the designer series paper itself. I took some of that pink, that crushed curry and that white and made a very pretty card um, that I think would cheer up anybody. So again, very beautiful paper. Don't know why I haven't used it before. It's called Perennial Essence Designer Series Paper. Okay, so let me go ahead and get out the supplies for this card. Now for the base, I used crushed curry. I cut this at four and a quarter by 11 and then scored it at five and a half. So this is the base. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper. This measures four by five and a quarter. And I actually have a piece of whisper white that I need to cut. Oh, did I cut it? Did I cut it? Nope, I didn't cut it. I was saving that for later, I guess. I um, need to cut a piece of uh, Whisper White to mat this. So we're gonna cut this piece of Whisper White, Whisper White real quick, and it's going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I realized I totally cut that paper wrong, but I was in a hurry, so you didn't see that. You did not see it. Okay, so these two are gonna mat here like so. You can just put some adhesive on the back of it. It's so pretty on this side too. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Some purple flowers in your cup. It's so pretty. Look at the purples and the greens in there. This paper is gorgeous. I always like to find some inspiration in the paper. Um, I like, I'm really not good at color coordination, but there's things that can help you with that everywhere you look. Um, so, you know, if you're stuck, you're not sure what colors to use, find some inspiration in a decorative pillow, in a um, item of clothing, in a piece of designer series paper. They have all coordinated the colors for you and so you just find something you like and you go off, go off of that. All right, so I've got my designer series paper down. I have this piece of Whisper White that I cut. It's one and a quarter by four and we're going to emboss it with the um, dynamic wood plank embossing folder. And that's gonna give that nice kind of like wood grain look. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's textured like wood. So we're gonna do that real quick. Just put that in your um, embossing folder and run it through your Big Shot real quick. So now you have this piece of um, wood plank on Whisper White. You can choose which side of the texture that you want to show. Um, the impression or the debossed side. I'm doing the debossed side. Okay, so I have a couple pieces of scraps of Whisper White and Granny Apple or um, Granny Apple Green and everything because we're going to need to stamp our cup and do our flowers. So I have.
I even have a piece of crushed curry for the centers of those flowers. So here's how we're gonna do this. On a piece of Whisper White, we need to stamp our cup. And we have the, I love this stitched cup. Isn't this cute? This little like has these little cross stitches on it. We're gonna stamp that in crushed curry. Now this is a photopolymer stamp and I'm using a glass media mat today. So I definitely wanna have a piercing mat or some sort of cushion underneath so that I can get a nice solid image. So go ahead and ink up your stamp. Okay, and stamp away. And there we go, we have this beautiful impression. So, so cute, I love this cup. Such a fun, bright yellow cup. Um, and then I just took my dies and I cut that out. And I just need to make sure I have the right direction. I do. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring the big shot in one more time and just cut out this cup real quick. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our flowers. So we need six total of the flowers. And I'm using the mini, not the mini, but the it's called the medium daisy, medium daisy punch. So we need six total flowers because each flower is gonna have two layers. All right, so I've got six total flowers. I also need two granny apple green leaves, which I'm using the leaf punch for. I love my leaf punch, you guys. It's the best, the best thing ever. Okay, so I've got those. Now I am gonna do some shading. I have some sponge daubers. I'm going to shade the centers of my flowers. So I'm punching these out of crushed curry. This is the half inch circle punch. I'm gonna do three of those. So I'm gonna shade the crushed curry and I'm gonna shade the flowers in Flirty Flamingo just to kind of add some texture. I just think it looks a lot better with some of that color and shading. It, I, again, tried to tie into this and nothing's just stark white or stark yellow. It's very shaded. So I kind of wanted to copy that. So I'm using Flirty Flamingo for the flowers and I'm gonna put a scrap of paper underneath my paper here because I'm gonna just kind of shade in the center and work my way out. It's not gonna be super, I'm not even gonna go all the way out. I just want to, can you guys see that? Did I, was, was I in, in picture? Um, just gonna kind of do a circle in the center just to get it, just to get some color on the petals. I know, me too, they don't want them to go get rid of the new, of the leaf punch. I love my leaf punch. Thank you, Trisha. So again, just shading these centers with just some flirty flamingo ink and the sponge dauber. Now the project sheets, as always, are on my blog post. I have a blog post every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. It posts. There is a project sheet down at the bottom. You can print that off. It has every item I used. It has every measurement I used. Um, so you are welcome to that. You can print it off, use it however you'd like. Um, so have at it. And the information that I told you about the extra perks for placing an order this week are also on that flyer. So if you were confused by anything I said, you can go look at that, take a look. And the um, new um, host code is up there as well. I have the new code. I will post it on my Facebook page as well after the video. Okay, so I've done my crushed curry and I've done my flirty flamingo. So that is it for that. Now we're gonna use glue dots to assemble these flowers. So get your glue dots out. I'm just gonna put a glue dot on the back of my flower and then I'm going to off center these. So they're not gonna be the same. They're gonna be, I wanna see petals in between the petals, if that, can make, if that makes any sense. So petals in between the petals, you can twist it until it's nice and aligned. Then you wanna do a little crushed curry center of the flower. Cute, cute, cute. 
Wouldn't this just be such a cheerful card to get in the mail? These beautiful, beautiful little daisies in a cup. So cute. Okay. Got to have some texture, got to have some shading, right, Cindy? I even did some embossing. <laughs> this card's got it all. Punches and dyes, embossing and embossing and shading. Actually, I didn't think about it, but you're right. There is a lot to this card, isn't there? Okay, so now we've got our three flowers. We've got our cup. Let's go ahead and make our little sentiment and then we will put it all together. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take this scrap. We'll use this scrap. I have my Versamark ink, my white embossing powder, and then I just need my stamp set, my stamp that says, make today amazing. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna emboss it. Hi, Melissa. Really, Bobby? Oh my gosh, thank you, I'm so honored. Wow, that's a huge compliment. So I take it maybe, um, Bobby, you're not a coffee drinker? Because <laughs> sometimes I feel like people are like, oh, I don't drink coffee, like this isn't anything for me, but sometimes it's fun to think outside the box, right? What else do we put in cute little cups? What about a cup full of paint brushes? What about a cup full of flowers, a cup full of candy, a cup, you know, there's all kinds of fun things that you can fill a cup with. You can even put a face on a cup. You can make it a jack-o'-lantern for, for Halloween. <laughs> I just really love the patterns on the cups and, and the sentiments are really cute. So, all right, but I do have a thing for coffee. I am a coffee drinker. All right, so then I'll just put this away. We can clean that up later. go ahead and heat emboss this. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim this. Um, I'm going to use my scissors. <laughs> you guys, I know some of you are probably cringing right now because I'm going to be cutting this and it's not going to be super straight. But you guys, I just sometimes I just cut corners, guys. This is going to be all kinds of cricket, so don't look. And then I'm just gonna do my little lazy dovetail. This is what I call a lazy dovetail when I do it myself instead of using the punch. There we go, got a lazy dovetail. We got a cute little label and nobody died. <laughs> Actually, probably someone did die because I didn't use the trimmer. All right, now let's go ahead and put this adorable coffee cup together. So let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and lay, um, glue our cup down first. Oop. And I just did it on, I did everything without dimensionals on this card. Can you believe that? I did everything directly down in, right on the, um, right on the card. So I'm just gonna kind of put some adhesive down and we're going to play around with where these cuties are gonna go. Put some adhesive on the flowers. I wanna kind of overlap the flowers a little bit, tuck some under. Oh, this one twisted, don't twist. There we go. All right, and then this one's gonna go up at the top. Let's put that one on top. And we'll stick this little leaf right inside here. Cute, cute, let's stick, I want it back behind the flower. There we go, cute. We have our cute little cup. We have our little sentiment. Terry, of course you can make this card, of course. Oh yeah, Jenny, uh, don't worry. Cindy and I have got it down. We do porch to porch drop off and pick up several times a week. We're hilarious. We actually only live down the street from each other, so we're always borrowing and dropping off and picking up. <laughs> So there you go, you guys. Yay, I see lots of hearts. You guys like it. Thank you so much. Wow, I'm really honored. You guys are so sweet. Be so fun to make a bunch of these cards and send them out, don't you think? 
All right, you guys, so these are our projects for today. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you got some inspiration, maybe some education about celebration, about the ultimate bundle deal. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Thank you so much for joining me, putting up with those internet issues and being amazing friends. You guys are awesome. Have a fabulous week. We will see you next Sunday in April. Can you believe it? Oh. And for those of you doing bingo, I'll see you on Saturday. Bye, guys.